Bro, the homie is driven. Oh my god! Stop! Ah! Oh hell no. Then you let me be free. If you love me. Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. So it is Saturday, March 6th, and we have an issue at the warehouse. Um, I'm not usually in at the warehouse on the weekends because it's my days off. Um, Federico's actually there, taking apart a Subaru STI that we're currently working on. So he texts me and he actually messages me a picture of a door panel and a snake. Let me show you guys real quick. Yes, a snake. Do you guys notice the door panel is off? So he had to have been yanking on the bottom of the door panel and the snake was right there and he did not see it. So super sketchy. Um, I'm actually going to go and head into the warehouse right now just so that this way we can get this resolved. All right guys, so I just got to the warehouse maybe about five minutes ago. Federico took off already, but um, we're going to go ahead and deal with the snake situation that's right there. You guys can see he sealed everything off. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and start the musting that we have in the warehouse. Uh, Federico's been working on the STI that's right here. So as you guys can see, the original color of the STI is a gloss white, wrapping it this uh, baby blue slash white cement looking color. It looks pretty dope. It'll look dope uh, once it's all fully finished. And then as far as the Subaru, we do have to go ahead and take care of the snake issue. So once Federico comes back, we'll go ahead and deal with that. But as far as right now, we're going to go ahead and remove some pieces on the Mustang so this way we can get this started. So we will be wrapping this one in a blood red made by a Nozotech. And yeah, we'll be starting off with the quarter panel first and the door. Uh, first, we do have to go ahead and remove the door handle as well, the wing and some pieces on the rear bumper. But that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get the warehouse cleaned up. You guys can see it's a little bit of a mess. Uh, once I get everything cleaned up, I'll bring you guys back and we're going to start the Mustang. All right guys, so I got a majority of the warehouse all picked up. Um, as you guys can see, I did happen to remove the door handle and the window trim uh, pieces just so that this way we're wrapping the quarter panel, things go a lot smoother and easier. So now that I have all this finished up, we're going to go ahead and deal with this snake. Federico's taking a little bit longer than I wanted to, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it myself. Hopefully, oh my God, he's right there. Scared the f out of me. What the f Holy sh Oh my gosh. All right, so he's pretty long. I think he's just a gopher snake, but homie's stuck to the vinyl wrap. I feel bad now, we gotta get him off. All right guys, so a little bit of a sticky situation. We have the, uh, I got a trash can just so this way we can go ahead and gently peel him off of the vinyl. You guys see him right here? over there for I get bit. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put this vinyl on here and then what I'll do is so it's sticky. We can probably just grab his tail and then we'll just like dump him in the trash can. This is getting too complicated man. Should have been done with it already. Let's get it. Alright let's get him. Let's get him. Let me put him by you though, bro. Oh my god he's moving he's moving quick motherfuckers quick Oh, no, 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 he's in there. Wait, that's good, that's good, that's good. Let's dump this bitch in here. Wait, how are we gonna do that? Shit. Ugh. So he's in there. If he's in there, that's good. I'm not gonna worry about it. Yeah, he's in there. All right, let me get the trash can. We're gonna dump his ass in there. Yeah, get your ass in there, boy. Get in there. 
All right, you guys, we have, he's actually in the vinyl of carbon right here. And I have the trash can, his head's right there. So I kind of just want to push his ass in there, but I don't want him to go into the bathroom, which I think he might do. All right, let's roll him out, let's roll him out, let's roll him out right here, right here. Roll him out right there. Push his ass in there, what the fuck? There he is, there he is, yeah, buddy. Yeah, you go in there, homie. You go in there, my guy. Got him, got him. Hopefully he don't come up. All right guys, so I got the snake in the bucket. I'm actually going to go ahead and dump him out here. There's like a little desert or a ravine over here, so. There he is right there. All right guys, so now that we got the snake situation uh, finished with, we're going to go ahead and hop straight onto the Mustang. So when my customer brought this back, he had actually um, started unwrapping it, and unfortunately it did leave quite a bit of glue residue behind, so I was left on the driver's side for a couple of hours trying to get that all removed. You guys can see right here on the door, let's see if it'll go ahead and it'll show you guys. So all right here, this is all glue residue. So this is kind of a pain in the ass to remove. Um, this is one of the main reasons why I do not like using KPMF. Um, I usually stick with only a Nozotec, Avery, and 3M because I haven't had no issues at all when it comes to removing the vinyl. But as you guys can see, KPMF did unfortunately leave quite a bit of glue residue left behind. So I'm going to go ahead and go over the quarter panel, make sure this side is ready to go and make sure all of the glue residue is removed. From there, I'm going to set you guys up and let's go ahead and start wrapping. All right guys, so you guys just see me go ahead and cut out the side skirt as well, the door. So I will be laying this um, obviously separate pieces. So it is currently 327 right now. So we'll go ahead and see how long the quarter panel should take us. Um, I'm assuming it should only take us about 30 to 40 minutes since we're not gonna be wrapping the door and then another 15 to 20 minutes for the door. But we'll go ahead and see uh, um, how long this takes us. As I said, it is currently 327. So let's get it. I'm not sorry cause that was intentional. I meant every word that I said, yeah You get angry with me cause I'm flexible, uh-huh And of how I like things in the bed, oh, oh, no My heart's like an ocean, it's deep and it's open The one thing I promise, I always be honest Eternal devotion, if we keep things open If you love all of me, yeah then you let me be free, yeah. uh, 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 uh. If you love me Then you let me be free If you love me uh, yeah. Uh. I know this is driven by jealousy uh -huh. But my soul is nothing you own I want us to love unconditionally mm -hmm. It means that I'm not yours alone No, no, no My heart's like an ocean It's deep and it's open The one thing I promise I'll always be honest Eternal devotion if we keep things open, if you love all of me, yeah, then you let me be free. Yeah. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. If you love me, then you let me be free. If you love me, oh, yeah. How could anyone believe? All right guys, so the driver's side quarter panel is all finished up as you guys can see. Everything came out super good. I'll go ahead and show you guys some up close and details. Um, basically right now, what I'm doing right now with the heater is I'm just going to actually post heat all of the corners. So I'll slowly go ahead and work this all around the car once it gets fully wrapped. And basically all that's going to ensure is that nothing's going to lift when the car goes ahead and takes off back with the customer. So while the quarter panel gets post heated, we're going to go ahead and knock out the driver door. I do have my piece cut. I did happen to cut it from the same piece as the quarter panel just to go ahead and save some materials. Um, but yeah, so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and give it one final wipe down. I'll set you guys down and let's go ahead and knock this one out.
All right guys, so I gave up on the driver's side fender. Let me show you guys why. Um, the fender looks super, super clean, but if you guys look right here in the glare, let me find it. If you guys look right here, you guys can see that it looks like, um, not that there's trash underneath there, but it's just orange peel. And basically what that is, that's the leftover residue from the old wrap. You guys can see, can't even see it at all. So it's very unfortunate, but I'm just going to go ahead and have somebody come and pretty much detail this car, get all of the residue off of it. And then from there, I'll go ahead and continue wrapping. Because wrapping the fender only takes me about 20 minutes, but dealing with the whole residue and pretty much getting everything off the car is gonna take forever. All right guys, me and Federico are about to get out of here. Um, we got the quarter panel and the door done on the Mustang. We spent a majority of our time prepping it, getting the uh, residue off of from the old wrap. STI is pretty much finished up. We only have the front bumper and the rear bumper left to do. Federico's going to go ahead and take home the uh, fender flares so he can get those done. And yeah, Subaru will be leaving tomorrow. Mustang will go ahead and leave next week. So, all right guys, so we'll go ahead and come back first thing in the morning, get the STI finished, and we'll go ahead and continue on with the Mustang.